right now you have access to the most comprehensive intelligence in the universe. Right now. Now this intelligence is completely wide open like a cloudless sky, immediately accessible and of complete benefit to yourself and everyone else. Now, that's quite a claim. But what is important in this training is that you have this direct instinctive recognition of what we're talking about. And a short moment of just allowing all of your descriptions, all of your thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences, everything you're feeling in your body, all of this data, just to be exactly as it is, without needing to describe it, analyze it, work it out, get rid of it, focus in on it, emphasize it, just allow it to be exactly however it is, just for a short moment. In that short moment, you're giving yourself space to recognize the vastness of the mind by which all of this is known. So everything that you can experience, absolutely everything, is known by exactly the same intelligence. Now, this intelligence is by nature completely beneficial. And again, what is important is that you discover this for yourself. So for myself, when I took this first short moment, when I allowed everything to be just as it was, just for, a, for an instant, then there was a sense of relief. There was a sense of openness, a sense of spaciousness, a sense of ease that I'd always been looking for. There was a sense of clear understanding. Now at the beginning, the short moments were very short. And almost immediately I'll be back into the world of descriptions, describing everything that was going on. Focusing in on all of these stories about what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, what other people are thinking, what's going on around me, what I like and what I don't like. This whole world of descriptions. And when I came across this training, what I found was a support network that would empower me to return to this vast opening intelligence again and again. And as I made this simple choice to take advantage of the support, I found myself returning to this intelligence in a completely uncontrived, spontaneous way. It wasn't something that was difficult. It was as simple as just being exactly the way that I was not trying to fix myself, not trying to have different kinds of thoughts or emotions. Really just allowing myself to be exactly as I was, just for a short moment. And the short moments are key because I had been trained to do exactly the opposite. I had been trained to focus in on all of the descriptions and work out what was wrong, what needed to change, what things should be looking like, how I should be feeling, what other people should be doing and shouldn't be doing. This whole world of descriptions and that was the basis for my taking action in the world. This set of ideas, this framework of descriptions that I had adopted as I'd gone throughout my life and then decided that this was the, the guidelines for how I should live my life. So I should be feeling happy, I shouldn't be feeling sad, it's a very simple framework. And yet, the results of living life due to these frameworks that I'd adopted, so I shouldn't be feeling lonely. I should be feeling like I belong. I shouldn't be feeling like I'm an outsider. All of these descriptions, and basing my actions and my um, behavior and my activities on all of these descriptions, 
as if they had an independent nature, which means to believe that they had the power to control and inform the way that I needed to live my life. Now, as I began to allow these descriptions just to be exactly as they were for these short moments, I discovered that actually none of them, first of all, could be found to have this independent nature. So all of them, as I said at the beginning, were known by this same opening intelligence. They were inseparable from it, like this beautiful breeze is inseparable from the air. None of them could be found to be occurring anywhere other than in, of, as and through this opening intelligence. None of them. So this began to give me a different perspective on them. I began to see that it was up to me to decide what power I gave to all of these thoughts and emotions and ideas. Did they really define who I was and define how I needed to live my life and be in the world? And each short moment I took, each short moment of just allowing everything to be exactly as it was, without shying away from that vast mind by which everything was known, identifying that amidst the flow of this data, I began to see that actually I had the power to decide how I wanted to live my life. And this was so... It was such a relief for me for the first time because I'd been a victim to everything that I'd learned throughout my life, deciding that I was a victim to everything that was going on, all of these changing thoughts and emotions. I had been behaving as if they had the power to control me and to control the way that I related to myself and other people, and related to the world. I'd given away all my power to these ideas. Now, each short moment, I began to reclaim this power for myself the power of the nature of my mind. And I began to apply these short moments throughout my life and rely on the support network that reminded me that I had the power to do so, the four mainstays, the support network of balanced view. And the results were quite incredible because I began to see that I could live my life however I wanted to. I didn't have to conform to any ideas at all. Yes. None at all. I thought um, for many years that I'd been living an unconventional life because I hadn't been living in the mainstream of society for some time. But when I came to this training and I began to see exactly how many of these conventional ideas I still believed ruled me and ruled the way that I had to relate, then um, I began to laugh and I began to see that this game of living an unconventional life had just been a complete farce, a complete fallacy. You know, just another game that I'd been playing, but actually still completely paying homage to all of these ideas. Now some of them were less conventional, but they were still other people's ideas. How I needed to be, what identity I needed to create, what image should I project to the world so people liked me. People thought I was funny and clever and attractive and all of these things ruled everything that I did and said, the activities that I spent my time doing. So with each short moment, I began to cut through all of these stories and cut to the root of exactly what was going on in each moment. To see for myself that it was this opening intelligence that was actually the basis and the constant throughout all of this experience. And this is what I could actually rely on. Now, when I began to rely on open intelligence for these short moments, the first benefit, as I said, was felt for myself. It was this sense of relief and openness. But I began to see that all of the time and effort and energy that I had put into making myself feel okay, trying to find this sense of ease and openness and satisfaction, was actually completely unnecessary because I was already, I was just okay as I was, I was fine. I didn't have to make myself feel in any particular way. I didn't have to feel happy all the time. And when I felt miserable or sad or lonely, all of the effort to work out why that was, how I could make myself feel happy, 
what needed to change, where I needed to go, what I needed to do. All of that energy was completely unnecessary because I tapped into the source of complete, complete satisfaction. A deep sense of mental and emotional stability regardless of what was going on, regardless of what the flow of data happened to look like. But that sense of emotional and mental stability was just the start because all of the energy that I'd put into this, this self-help project, trying to fix myself and work out what was wrong, all of this energy became available for me to use in whatever way I decided. And since I was fundamentally okay, and I recognize that again and again in these short moments. And that's how you recognize it amidst depression, amidst anger, amidst irritation, amidst loneliness. Short moments repeated many times until the recognition of open intelligence becomes continuous. That is practically how you apply this training. But you must apply it. You know, if it remains some idea, then you're missing the point of being here. It's this fierce application of the short moments and the fierce application of the support that's offered. The trainer that will remind you that you have the power to return and claim this power for yourself. The training media that points you unerringly back to what is fundamental and true in your own experience. The community that inspires you by their example and shows you that you are capable of this too. And so this intelligence that I discovered, that had always been there, that I just never noticed, I'd had glimpses of throughout my life, but never been able to stabilize this recognition, as I utilized the Four Mainstays, just became more and more obvious. Amidst the, the, the flow of my daily life, I could incorporate short moments into whatever I was doing. Whatever I was doing, on my own, with other people, feeling happy, feeling sad, brushing my teeth. It's a popular example here, I'm not sure why. But. All of these daily activities, I could just return and see what was at the basis. You know, how, how was I aware of what was going on? And I began to see that as I allowed all of this data to be as it was, this energy became more and more available to me. And I saw that I had a choice. Well, if I was okay, then what, what was I going to do with all of this energy? So much energy. Look at everything that's going on for you now. Look at all your thoughts and emotions, everything you're feeling. This amazing, ceaseless, dynamic, creative flow. Look at it. It's incredible. So the shift from being a victim to this of this incredible flow to seeing that I'm a master of it and I'm able to extract the power from this data stream and from this complete wide open seeing see exactly what will be of most benefit in each situation. And by allowing the data to be as it is, see that I have the, first of all, the power to speak up and to contribute everything that I have to contribute. And secondly, I have the clear seeing of seeing everything exactly as it really is. Not through some filter of ideas or concepts, but the clear seeing of reality exactly as it is. Each short moment aligning me more and more with that reality. Seeing the nature of mind, seeing the nature of reality allowing everything to self-release, allowing the flow of data just to flow on by, without needing to adjust it or, or fix it or manipulate it. This is where you find that power and that clear seeing. And so this beneficial nature of all experience was gradually revealed. This slow opening out of really seeing my potency and my potential to contribute my unique strengths, gifts and talents. And this applies to every single one of you here. Completely unique and beautiful. And yet all of us united in this, this brilliant wide open intelligence. Seeing that the purpose of life, the meaning of life, 
the meaning of life. This thing that I've been looking for for decades, reading books about, studying philosophy, all it just became obvious. The meaning of life was to be of benefit. So obvious. Well, what, what else could there possibly be when this, this self-obsessed project just came to an end? All that was left was to see, well, how can I be of service? How can I, how can I help you? How can I support you? And for me, that was um, just way beyond anything I'd imagined. This focus had been so completely, so completely on myself that that perspective, that wide open seeing, had simply gone unmissed. And now what I see is that that potency can continue to be trained up to a degree that you decide. You decide how far you want to take this. But for me, it became very obvious that the, this, this self-obsession, it was just, I had no interest in it anymore. I can take care of myself and that's included. I'm part of this opening intelligence. But to have myself as the sole focus, to be completely focused in on everything and keep referring it to me and this idea of who I am and what I need and what I like and what I don't like was exhausting. And I've given up the right to be a victim to all of that. I've claimed my power of opening intelligence. And more and more I see what I'm capable of contributing in the world. And it's just an amazing way to live. An incredible adventure. I'd always live my life trying to have amazing adventures and amazing experiences. Now everything is an amazing adventure. Everything becomes an amazing experience. Because more and more you see how you can bring incredible benefit to all situations. Everything in your life, everyone you meet, everything you're involved with. And this is the power and the impact of this training on us as a society and us as a global species and global network. Each one of us claiming this power for ourselves. This is the only way anything is going to change in this world for us. We've tried the conventional approaches. And even with the best intentions in the world, look, look around you, look at what's going on in the world, look at the results of this approach. Now, what, what do we find? You know, you don't need to be a social scientist to see the results of this experiment. So it's time for something new. It has to start with each one of us taking responsibility for our particular data stream, training up in open intelligence. And then when we come to a place like this, we see the results amongst a group of people. And it's, it's profound. For me, the first time I came to a Balanced View Centre, th that, that was it. I'd seen so many results for myself, so many benefits. But when I came to the centre and I saw the way that people were relating with complete open-heartedness, regardless of the way that they were thinking or feeling, and getting so much done in a very practical way, with so much fun and, and, and lightness and joy, I, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I had never seen anything like it in my life. And that was it. I was, that for me, I was done. You know, just completely convinced. I'd seen the results for myself personally, and now I saw the results for a group of people. And the implications for that, for us as a species, is just obvious. So each of you being here is such a powerful and important step for us as, as, as humans, deciding what kind of life we want to live, what kind of society we want to build. And are we prepared to put up with what's going on in the world at the moment? And if you're not, then make this stand within yourself. Train up open intelligence. This is such a powerful contribution and it has to start with each one of us. Now, we, we can't give away this power and say, well, when somebody else comes and sorts things out, when this great leader arrives, or I think most of us have given up on the politicians. You know, we have to make this change. No one else is going to do it for us. And you will find everything here to support you to see that you're capable of doing that.